My eyesight is truly horrendous. Currently, it's 2080. I have terrible eyesight. And as such, that's why I tend to wear glasses. And so I'd like to look at a comparison here to the fact that we need to open our eyes to the fact that this shale gas is not the correct it um, is not the correct alternative here for a number of reasons. Let's go through them. First of all, what is the inherent problem here? There are two issues with our current energy policy. First, that it tends to suggest for unrenewable resources, ones that will eventually run out. And second of all, that, it, that the, the resources that we use to power our economy are in the hands of quite oftentimes people whose interests are not in line with our own. First of all, Rather than simply say we need to drill here and drill now for shale gas, we need to look at what shale gas is exactly. It is a completely unrenewable resource. We've had people coming up here today talking about how it's, le it's more environmentally friendly than certain alternatives. That's not the case. Nuclear has no emissions. Algae, as we've been discussing most recently, has very few emissions. Solar, geothermal, wind, hydroelectric, alternatives exist. And every day, millions and millions of scientists across the United States are re researching alternatives. Shale gas is not the answer to, uh, to, the, to America's energy problems. And we need, to, we need to open our eyes and see that. Second of all, I offer three contentions as to why we should reject this resolution. First, as I mentioned previously, it is, uh, it is not sustainable. Two, it is not environmentally friendly. And see, it will not solve our energy problems. First of all, it is not sustainable. We will run out of shale gas. And we've been discussing recently about how the United States economy is based off of energy from various places. What happens to the US economy when shale gas runs out? What happens when the reserves we've been talking about evaporate, are gone, no longer used? In Texas, that's what they've been having an issue with. In Alaska, thank goodness we haven't tapped into that yet, but that'll happen if we ever try and do that, if we ever try and um, drill there. Second, it's not environmentally sound. The process by which you extract shale gas, by using a lot, by using a pipeline that drills in and attempts to extract various forms of energy from it, has, has had a tendency to cause massive environmental damage. <coughs> we have just recently, and I believe Massey, the Massey Electric Cooperative in West Virginia, where dozens of people died as a result, was because they were trying to drill for coal and shale gas. It is not environmentally sound. It pollutes the environment with the various chemicals that they have to use and the things and the fumes it emits, such as a word which you may have heard by the name of uh, methane. And finally, it is not sustainable. This thing is not carbon neutral. Shale gas is not carbon neutral. It is not the answer we're looking for, and it is not a, a thing in which we should rely on. And for these reasons, I strongly urge you to reject this thing, this this bill, and as such, I open myself up to questions. Really? Yeah.